So if you remember in video 1428, we built this thing, which is a low friction magnetic bearing. And then we did a video in 1429 where we ran a rubber band engine. Now those rubber band engines are extremely low power. So you need a good bearing in order to get anything at all out of those. But it did the job, which in itself was really quite impressive, showing that this particular bearing arrangement is um, very suitable, very interesting for uh, producing low friction machines that should be able to run forever. So that's the idea, and it's worked so well that I'm going to use it again. Now this, I made out of copper because it's what I had around, and it's really heavy, it's about 150 grams. The heavier something is, the further it will sink down towards the magnet. So of course it makes you think, okay, we make a rotor, it's around about 150 grams, you should be able to get it onto that base and be able to spin that rotor. And so, I've grabbed these two things. This is a plastic disc out of builder's board or Sintra board, 200 uh, millimeters across, and of course it fits quite nicely in there. And I have this, which is a plastic squirrel plastic cage. pipe is so what I'm going to use, and I'm going to cut that and glue together that rotor. So that's the um, same thing, but remade in plastic, and it now weighs 40 grams instead of uh, the, what the copper weighed, which is very much heavier. And we've drilled this out so we can put that in there. Now I've also um, made it so that this can break. So they're just stuck together with the magnets. What that means is I can change the magnets in there to change the length of uh, the power of that lift. This is just a bit of builder's board with a pen stuck in it, and it rests nicely there. There we go. So now all I've got to do is stick these on it and glue them together. So there's the three bits together. Now it's about as straight as a dog's hind leg, which I'm okay with at this stage because we're just doing kind of proof of concept. Okay, so there's the cradle pretty much finished as far as I'm going to finish it. And you'll notice here I've glued in a coil. It's a coilless coil and it's the um, centre of a microwave turntable motor. And here's the rotor. Now the rotor breaks down into three bits, as we've seen. We've got the disc on this bit of pipe with eight magnets on it. We've got the pen stuck in a bit of board. It's got magnets on it so it sticks. And then we've got this bit that goes on the end. Now I put this bit on the end because I'm going to blow this and <laughs> just make it work by blowing on it. But clearly, having it like that means you could fit a whole host of things on there. So let's put that on there. There we go. Now I've set up the camera here and it's looking at an LED. Now be warned, it takes a little while, so you might want to make a cup of tea while you watch the LED blink off and on, because all I'm going to do is blow on this and wait until that LED stops blinking. Takes a while, I did warn you. There we go, so that LED blinked for ages from just me blowing on it three times. So it makes a great energy scavenger. And obviously we could do something like this, like maybe attach a flywheel, in which case one pull of that flywheel is going to keep that going for a long time. I mean, this thing acts a bit like a flywheel anyway, because it's a disc with weight on the edge. So there's a bit of a flywheel action going on here, but I, <laughs> I just wanted to blow on it because <laughs> Here's the joke, dad joke, warning. I thought it was a hell of a blowjob. <laughs> it worked superbly. So, I hope it inspires you, because there's a ton of things we could do with something like, like this. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe.